Cardano hard fork events are something special and unique to Cardano. They help upgrade the network with technical improvements, and the most recent hard fork event, the Vasa hard fork, has been delayed. I'm going to talk about what that means for Cardano, all the while ADA on the brink, on the brink of something special. But we need to be careful. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Thanks for cruising by. When do we not need to be careful in crypto? Like, when do we not need to be careful? Bull market runs, bull market all-time highs, capitulations. We always need to be careful. But here's here's ADA on the weekly. That's a nice weekly candle. That is a very nice weekly candle. It's meaningful. I'm going to dig into it in multiple different ways. But before we do, let's just start with, let's start with this. Let's start with this news. The Vassal Hard Fork, Cardano Vassal Hard Fork delayed a few more weeks. It's final testing complete. Check this out real quick. Obviously, from where we are, there could be a few more weeks before we go to the actual Vassal Hard Fork. We've also got to ensure that SPOs, DAP developers, exchanges are all ready for that. Yes, yes, Tim. This is incredibly important. There it is. A few more weeks. I tweeted, no talented engineer will question this. And for, first off, that's me speaking. I'm a, I run a recruiting firm. We recruit like mainly engineers. And it's just my experience watching teams, technical teams build and launch product. I said, this is commonplace move when it comes to building reliable and secure systems. I know some people will disagree with that. So if you're out there complaining, don't. And I... I just want to say, everybody, it's this is a technology. Like, we're all in crypto. I would say, like, probably, what, 90%, 90 95%, I don't think, are engineers. I'm not an engineer. So I see comments of people just being like, man, they're just like, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And it's like, what is that? Like, why, <laughs> why are there crypto keyboard warriors that don't even know what it takes to build this innovative technology. And we're talking about Cardano is like these hard fork combinator events. This isn't like your traditional blockchain fork where, you know, they're, they're forking protocols and kind of like restarting the, the entire system. This is like a seamless transition. This technology is, is ridiculous. It's really cool. So like when we get little delays of like a few weeks, it's kind of like, relax, like, let's just chill out and let, let it, let it take place. And this is an upgrade. This is like a really cool thing. So let's make sure it's right. There's, if there's some bugs, let them deal with it. And you know, it is what it is, but like, it's not that big of a deal. I, I really don't think it is. I realize there's people out there that are invested in Cardano. There's people out there tracking it. There's, there's people writing headlines about it and people want deadlines. They want solid dates. I get it, but we're in, we're in this, this, brand new technology space with innovative technology uh, and Cardano in particular, careful. They're careful. They want to do it right. So if it takes a few more weeks, I say, I have no problem. And, and, and as we transition to the charts, this is kind of making things a little bit interesting. This kind of is just like, this is kind of pepping up the charts for me because you know, I've been tracking these hard fork events, the data associated with them and namely it's just this this move that ada ada sees going into these events right there's the mary hard fork there's shelly all the way back here the alonzo hard fork smart contracts I, I should say all of these all of this data wasn't in a bear market right and that's probably why i'm, I'm most keen to track what happens in this and this this box is around 60 some days prior to uh the hard fork and um, uh, one thing that I've actually tracked with these with these hard forks is just the fact that ADA kind of got this ex overextension and separation from the the twenty week moving average that green line right in these hard forks it's just like an explosive move above it. Interestingly enough, hard fork we're in the window we don't we don't know an exact date right now. I I pushed it forward uh, and I'll, I'll continue tracking this, but I push it forward. But ADA nowhere near getting separation above the 20 week moving average. So very interesting data now to integrate into what we've already accumulated in terms of these hard fork events. So that's, that's that, right? So we're going to continue tracking and see what happens in the next few weeks. What makes it interesting is it's co coinciding with what's going on over here. S&P 500 index. This is actually a daily chart. 
um, breaking on the short term, this this short term Fibonacci, I should say short to midterm Fibonacci lower high, actually closing. I didn't really, I don't think I realized this closing above this this uh, Fibonacci resistance channel just above the 786. It's going to be interesting actually to watch to see what this does tomorrow. But all the while this is happening, right? We're watching how markets are rallying a little bit, even in the face of interest rate hikes and inflation and everything. And I think it's it's partly because everything is priced in. So if this rally continues, and we have to keep a very careful close eye on traditional markets and sentiment, but if the rally continues, ADA now positioned, I think, even better actually because the Vassal hard fork delayed now and pushed push to the future a little bit, let's say a few weeks. So if in the next few weeks, markets are, are continuing to be green, markets are feeling good, people are just like emotionally getting bullish and you see the sentiment, you see the headlines and there's a move, this could be actually good for ADA price. That is yet to be seen, uh, but it will be very interesting to track. The other thing on the weekly I just want to point out is this, MACD cross, we've tracked it. There was a MACD crossing the signal line. But if you look at Bitcoin on its own MACD, you can see there, there's not been a MACD cross above the signal line. Uh, and, and, and I'd be interested to see other coins. It's not just Bitcoin, but it's like other coins, not there yet. But what if, what if they all do start getting there, just as Cardano is, is, has seen it, right? This, this MACD crossing above the signal line. What if they all get there? What if that is the beginning of the, the, the true bull bull rally. Can't call it a bull run because we're, we're in a bear market, everybody. We're in bear market formation and we have to be very careful. But what if Bitcoin gets that breakout and then with that comes the ADA breakout also on the weekly chart? Big week though. We look at this candle, there's still three days and an hour left, but look at this big, big candle so far. Like this is like a 14% candle for ADA. That's insane. A lot of people like uh, ADA is not moving. Ada is just not moving. If you're commenting that, if, if, if you're commenting, why is Ada not moving? Why are you commenting that? Everybody. I, 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 I most of the time just like kind of ignore it, but I genuinely, I just, I want to know why are you coming? This what asset class and maybe, maybe Ada is not up as much as Matic right now. I get it. But like what thing does this? There's still three days left of this weekly candle. And there's already like this 15% volatile move, like 14, 15% volatile move. It's insane. Um, so sometimes we just have to wait. Sometimes we have to be patient. Cryptos have their seasons, right? You remember, ADA had its season where it was running and nothing else was. And, and they take a while to, to, to get here, but you just have to be patient. Um, so that's ADA on the weekly, still that 200 week moving average at 55 cents or so. That's a big deal. Another, what is that like? from a price range perspective, still like an eight to 10% move or so to the upside, everybody. So we have to be very careful. Even if there's a move for ADA, these resistance areas are big in this huge downtrend. Now, probably the most important part of the video, this daily chart we've talked about, we've tracked the lower highs, the journey to the downside, it's failure to stay above these moving averages. There's the 20 day moving average in green, 50 day moving average in blue. It's failure to break above, look at that resistance right there. No support there, no support here, no support here, resistance there, no support. Like it's the same old thing. So we've been tracking this move, ADA getting above the two, and let me zoom in a little bit. We've been tracking those because it's like a big deal when it happens because we're waiting for the bullish confirmation where there's going to be support. We've waited and tracked the 20 day moving average, getting ready to cross the 50 day moving average. Hasn't happened yet. Along this story, though, you've seen my most, most recent videos talking about ADA coming down to at the very least test the 20 day moving average. So far, so good. We, we kind of wicked below it, but a nice wick, some buying pressure right back to the upside, even above the 50 day moving average or so close. And here we are right now with a daily candle. And it's kind of like, there's like a half hour left of this daily candle as I do this video. And it's like, what kind of volatility or test to the downside will we see? Or will it be even more separation from this area? Cardano still hasn't even really broken this shorter term, lower high trend that you see right there. That's going to be interesting. But what I want to just paint a picture of is this. We get that 20 day. Say it happens. The 20 day moving average crossing above the 50 day. There's a nice powerful move for ADA. Look at the similarities back here in July of 2021. Well, July to August from this swing low. ADA, there's the 20 day moving average crossing above the 50 day. You see that move, right? And I want to point something out as it coincides with the daily MACD. So when ADA was breaking out, or actually slightly before, 
uh, you can just see the MACD, the daily MACD crossing the signal line, and then all the way up here, finally, the, the MACD and signal line's getting above zero on the histogram, right? There's Now the move is starting, basically, and it's like the first week of August. So let's look at the chart in the first week of our August, if I can open it up. <laughs> I do not know why I can't open up the chart. Here we go. No. And listen, I don't edit my videos, everybody. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bear with me here. So the first week of August, ADA was right around here, right? Check this out on that MACD. No breakout yet. Like MACD's cruising. MACD is like, but and and it, we're seeing the higher highs and higher lows on the daily. Really cool chart to actually look at, but no like powerful blast off. It hasn't happened yet, but it was getting ready to happen when the MACD line and signal line were crossing above the histogram. The reason I bring that up and it's important is if we go to the MACD, and I'm almost scared to open this chart up, the MACD line now, you can see uh, the MACD line and the signal line just above now the histogram uh, and, and that upper momentum. We see the higher highs, higher lows, similar to what we saw in July. And here we are now, everybody, check it out. Uh, similar thing, like no no absolute crazy breakout yet. We're getting kind of this upward momentum, but there's no crazy breakout yet. But could that be a signal? Could could that be a sign that there's going to be a breakout? And if there is, what is that area to watch for? If there is resistance in a macro, a more macro midterm to macro rally, it's this. It's this lower high area because we did have a 20-day moving average cross in March, uh, March to April, 20-day moving average crossing above the 50-day. And boom, lower high at that trend line. You see that? Lower high uh, at this, this long-term trend line. As it translates on the weekly, it was a resistance at the 20-week moving average. The 20-week moving average right now on ADA is in that general vicinity around 65. You just call it 65 to 70 cents towards that upper trend line. So huge resistance area. If markets do rally, that will be an incredibly cool area to watch and a unique area because these things don't happen all the time. You know, when we were doing charts back here, it was a unique time. Uh, and we saw what happened. It's failure, continuation of the bear market. And that's why we track these things. It gives us hints. This isn't to predict what's going to happen. It's to anticipate. This is, this is all a visualization tool to put our minds in different scenarios so that we can make wise decisions in the present day, in the present moment. That's why we do what we do, everybody. But right now, Ada giving hints of just, uh, along with markets, of just a continued rally. But we have to be so careful because things are just so on edge, right? It, it, all it takes is the littlest thing, even the littlest move, like a domino effect could move markets. You know, it's like like Amazon, Google, pre, pre-trading pre hours tomorrow are just down or something and markets just fall tomorrow. Traditional markets fall. Guess what? ADA very quickly can be back below 50 cents and testing the, the, the daily, the 20 day moving average at 47 cents. And then we're tracking, will it hold support? So we have to be very vigilant, careful, and just not ahead of ourselves and just track it on a daily basis. And that's what we're doing here, everybody. So let me know how you're doing out there. Everything's going to be okay. I realize the Vasa hard fork is delayed. It's delayed, but it's just a delay. And, and I have no, like, it's not like I'm, I'm told or even encouraged to just, hey, keep it positive. It's not like that. It's literally me personally, I'm telling you, because I know there's people out there like, man, Dan, what does Dan work for Cardano? Does Dan work for IOHK? I do not. It's just my personal view as an investor. It's just like these things don't matter as much as people, they say they do, right? These, these delays. Look at Ethereum. It's like six, six delays so far or reschedules for, for the merge. It's like, and then I, look, that's not like crashing price right now. Ethereum's actually up a little bit more than Cardano. So it's not as big of a deal, but the upgrade is a big deal. This, what it's going to do for the network and for developers to work on the network and to deploy dApps and stuff, it's a big deal. This is huge, bullish news, a little delay, all good, everybody. So hang in there. Keep your head up. Get out there. Breathe the fresh air. God is good. I'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. God bless.